This is Norman Bolter, video four of the series from that little guy in the corner. And yes, I am that little guy in the corner. And today's topic is an interesting one, I find. It is about practicing certain, what would appear to be simple things, but they're not. And they work on a couple of things at one time, these exercises that I was doing. It works on finesse and control. And if you think about it, do you know a person with what you'd call a lot of finesse in their playing, not having control? Because finesse suggests that you have command enough to be able to do what you want to do with a certain aesthetic, with a certain standard, with a certain refinement and subtlety according to what you think the music needs. So sometimes I think a lot of students are hit with the idea, well, I got to get in the practice room and I got to practice this etude, that etude, um, 10 excerpts, three solos, <laughs> and they have all this literature. There's nothing wrong with a lot of literature. But I guess I was never the kind of player that needed a ton of literature in order to have very fruitful sessions. You know, I was doing a master class and one particular person said they really didn't like practicing. And I kind of, I listened and I, I tried to feel what that would be like because I never had that. Playing the trombone was never got to make the donuts. Certain professional situations used to make me feel, oh, not this again. But then I realized, <laughs> wish I'd realized it earlier. I realized it at certain points early, but not enough, um, that every circumstance is an opportunity to practice something, whether that practice is patience or tolerance or looking for certain things outside or, in your, or inside yourself that can be improved. And not to add to the bank, the huge vast lake of cynicism and constant low-end criticism and complaint. So, 
What I was demonstrating before is something that I actually practice. If I don't feel like moving my slide around that much, but I'm in a particular physical state, maybe sometimes this happens at night, but I want to play. I will play in a range that feels easy for me. And I will do little nuggets of finesse. Little drops of finesse or practicing certain types of moves and subtle nuances as I was doing with certain rhythms which require articulation. And here I was using legato articulation, whether it was single tongue or double tongue or triple tongue, with subtle moves and waves and dynamics. Here I'll do a few more for you. Just in case someone thinks, hey, I want to try that. Now, I was putting in a couple of complex rhythms, whether you could tell or not. But trying to make little changes vivid is something I think adds to the person's suppleness and their embouchure. Being able to command your airstream to not just think it needs huge amounts of air to make something happen. Now, obviously, you need an embouchure that's going to be receptive to that kind of small, narrower, not tight, airstream going through. So let me do some simpler ones, okay? That wasn't too complex, of course. Um, I ended up doing quintuplets at that last part of it. But you can just see how this could just be very, very simple. Using a legato tongue, for example, in this case. It's another way to almost practice uh, tongued long tones. For there's a long tone happening. And yet that tongue can almost act as a measurement for the subtle increase of dynamics. Here's some more. Do you get a feeling of those infinite possibilities you could be doing with something like this? Different rhythms, subtle dynamics, working on the releases so it almost has that conical release, 
which is so beautiful when you hear it on horn or euphonium or tuba because of the tubing offers that little extra time for resonance to happen. Where more the um, cylindrical instruments, trumpet and trombone, it, it wants to cut off. Um, but of course, when you hear people who have more finesse, you're very aware of those kinds of releases. So, in this odd video, the next time you're wondering what to do in your practice room, when none of your exercises or etudes or solos or excerpts sound like appealing but you want to play, try this kind of thing. Try this kind of thing. Practice those nuggets of finesse and see what you discover. <laughs>